All right, Joe, um, not really sure how to break this to you, but apparently you've been breaking the law. I, I've been breaking the law? I guess. I, I don't know. This is the first I've heard of it. What, what, what did I do? I, um, I, I have no idea. I mean, but apparently our investigations show evidence of criminal activity. That's preposterous. Uh, yeah. Joe's never broken the law. Yeah. Joe doesn't break the law. He cures cancer. Yeah. Joe is saving lives. It, it's true. I mean, I, I've been so busy curing cancer, I, I haven't had time to do anything else. This is all Trump's fault. Oh, it's Trump's fault. <laughs> well, that might be, but our investigations... Uh, your investigations are like a hundred seats at a breakfast table. Speaking of breakfast, um, <laughs> where is it? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can't find my chef anywhere. Well, how are we supposed to eat without a chef? Yeah, Obama, where's your chef? Well, um, last time I saw him, he was yelling, help, I can't swim. Swimming <laughs> is racist. So what did you do? Well, I mean, I told him Google how to swim. Smart. I Google everything. So did he Google it? I don't know. He asked if he could borrow my phone, and I said, get your own. <laughs> Poor people are always wanting something for free. <laughs> Sam Peasant. So, uh, what did your indigestion find? Well, apparently you forced out a Ukrainian prosecutor. I I guess I had no clue about any of this. What do you mean you had no clue about any of this? <laughs> There's a viral video of Joe admitting to it. There's a viral video? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Been around for years. Wow, I had no idea any of this was going on. Yeah, so uh, what else did you find? Well, I guess you and your son Hunter were involved in a lot of illegal business dealings. What? We were? What? I guess. I'm just finding all of this out. Finding all of this out? It's been public knowledge for years, Kevin. Yeah, where you been, buddy? Wow. Public knowledge for years? I had no idea. You learn something new every day. Yeah, I had no idea either. Crazy. You're like the worst house speaker ever, Kevin. <laughs> if I was still house speaker, Joe would be in peace, and I would be president. <laughs> so, so I, I, am I in trouble, or...? No, 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 no. We're just gonna tell everybody we found a whole bunch of evidence on you, and that we're gonna impeach you. You're gonna impeach me? Oh, goodness, no. We're just gonna tell everybody we're gonna impeach you. But we won't. Oh! Well, that's good. Oh, my gosh. I am so hungry. Me, too. I think I'm dying. Uh, I can cure well, that. Uh, guess I'm going to have to hire a new chef. She's Obama. Can't you like a new clinic? <laughs> <laughs> I got to go. I feel a great disturbance in the Congress. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I just farted. No. We have a new candidate for president. Oh, um, are you talking about me? No, I'm talking about Featherman. Seriously? Yes. I had no doubt that Featherman is the offspring of Joe Biden. <laughs> How is this possible? Search your feelings out, Drinker. You'll know it to be true. Well, it does make sense. <laughs> Sing young Featherman to get trained by the master. Aye, aye, skipper. <laughs> <laughs> like, totally vote for John. He's a big dumb dope. Hey, John. Uh, Pelosi wants you to run for president. Thanks, uh, that be. This is a great idea, but I'm going to pretend to be upset. Is but if you truly want to be dumb, do you got to learn how to control your dumb. Welcome to Burger King. Hello. You want lasagna? I'm mad as hell. Me I'm too. Gonna get to the bottom uh, of this. John, I need you to go see the master. Uh, sloppy, Whatever. sloppy, whippy, whippy. I'm going to get to the bottom luck, of this. Good luck, my old friend. Can you feel it? The dumb is strong with this one. Um, how do you know? I can feel it. <laughs> the gum might be strong, but can he lie? I'm not sure. Do you want me to train him? Adam, no one can lie like you. But there is one person. Who? The master. <laughs> hey, good luck, John. The purple is the same color as the number three. Make us proud, buddy. Suey, dooey, slashy, squishy, fog wobbles. <laughs> He's gonna make a great president! Campaign money buys lots of butter! Poo! Poo! Traitors say what? 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 I'm mad as hell and I'm gonna get to the bottom of this! Yeah, me too! Wink, wink! So did John leave yet? Yep, John's on his way to see the master right now! Perfect! What's going on, Nancy? Um, nothing. <laughs> what is it? Tell me! Nothing, it's just, um, John's gonna be president. <laughs> 
Really? Uh, here we go. <laughs> what, what is it, Hillary? Well, I, I just thought that, you know, I... What? What, what did you think? Well, I just thought that... Just what? <laughs> I, I just thought that... What? You can be president? Well, yes, I think I've heard that. Well, it's never going to happen, okay? So stop asking me. This is so unfair. Hillary, life isn't fair. <laughs> hey, hey, are, are, are you the whiz kid? Hello, goodbye. Wow. You're a natural at this. I can count to banana. All right, I need you to repeat after me. I feel pee on my knee. Poor kids are just as smart as white kids. They said to make sauce like twenty. If you don't vote for John, then you ain't black. Duh, you say I like to find and poop my pants. What? The dumbest thing with you. you now? Yeah, you're ready. Let's poop together. Um, so did we, like, solve the crime yet? Uh, what crime are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of crime the going on. The most recent crime. <laughs> Duh. We're not supposed to solve the crimes, Alexandria. We're not? No. no. We're just supposed to commit the crimes and then we investigate ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it works. Yeah. I knew I was smart. Hey, I need some protein. I go pee-pee now? Hey, wait. You gotta finish your training. I go poopy all by myself. Uh, looks like his training is complete. Good job, Joe. Yeah. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> John is ready. I can smell it. Hey, try not to pee on the floor. Oh, yeah. I got in so much trouble last time you were here. I have this uh, elegant yeah. Hey, save the queen, man. Yeah, collect <laughs> yeah. wages and Yeah, I mean, I gotta have my brain removed, but hey, you wanna build some bunk beds? In fact, wait. Let's go ask Nancy. <laughs> Hey, uh, 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 La Mama? What's going on, guys? Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> well, uh, 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 me and John over here, we, we, uh, we, uh, we, we were wondering, um, <laughs> well, uh, I mean, actually, we, we, we were, we were thinking, uh, Well, spit it out. Well, uh, uh, uh may, maybe you should explain it, John. Well, in my automobile. No, 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 tell, 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 tell them what we were talking about in the fort. Oh, we make rocket ship. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you want to make a rocket ship? Yeah, 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 we, we want to make an electronic rocket ship that runs on gas, and you I can plug poopy. it into a tree. And uh, where, where are you going to fly the rocket ship to, Joe? Well, well to the sun. How, how are you going to fly a rocket ship to the sun, Joe? Well, easy. I, I'll just fly it at night. Wow. Rocket an electronic gas fuel rocket ship that runs on trees is going to the sun? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. We were just standing there, and then poof. <laughs> rocket ship. I like potato. <laughs> uh, Joe, <laughs> have you ever built a rocket ship before? Oh, yeah, man. I, I, I built tons of rocket ships. You have? H have what? Built lots of rocket ships. Well, it's like that time I ate granola and the lunch meat was wet. The dog goes, moo! How much is this rocket gonna cost? A uh, uh, hundred thousand million and forty cents. Have you seen my bait ball? Joe, have you ever flown a rocket? Of course I have. I, I, I've flown tons of rockets. Really? Yeah, I was raised by astronauts. Two plus two with pickles. So, can we? Yeah, why not? So, uh, so, so, so are, are, is that a yes or... Uh, yes. So, so are, are, are you saying yes or... or... <laughs> yes, Joe. Uh, 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 blink, blink twice for yes. Bl uh, blink twice. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, 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 blink forty times for no. So, <laughs> build your freaking rocket ship, okay? So, is that a yes or is or or, or uh, no? I want for president. So, Joe? I don't give a all right, fuck. All right, now I, <laughs> now I just gotta remember what the hell I was gonna do. Three days later. Hey, Joe, what's going on in there? I'm hiding Easter eggs. Uh, Easter eggs. Well, <laughs> hey, Obama, where's the flux capacitor at? Joe, we don't have a flux capacitor. <laughs> what are you guys doing in there? Uh, Waste the taxpayer money? Uh, yeah, they're good kids. Uh, wow! This is like what they build at NASA. The paint chips are vegetables. <laughs> Man, I'm going to fly this rocket straight to the sun. Oh, I go poopy all by myself. We're like the smartest people in the world. Hello, goodbye. All right, let's start this bad boy up. To infinity and potato. <laughs> Uh, have you seen my bait ball? Somebody help me! I'm dead! My voters are too! Are you guys? What is it, boy? Da. Joe's in trouble! Da. Good boy! Take us to him! Oh! Wow! That's a good looking hammer! Joe, are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm dead! No, Joe! Don't be dead! Hey, it's too late! I'm dead! Goodbye, cruel world! Well, now you can vote for John! <laughs> Today we're talking with President Donald Trump. Hello, Nancy. Oh, my God. Is it really you? Yeah, it's me, Nancy. I can dream come true. I mean, I feel like I'm at your prom. Okay. I miss you so much. You all right? <sighs> it's like I can still smell you. What? Oh, I've missed your much. Uh, starting to sweat here. <laughs> so moist. Maybe we should do this another time. How come you haven't returned my text messages? Are you being serious? Yes, I'm being serious. I've called you multiple times and left your messages. I... Hey, you sent your emails. <coughs> Excuse me. And you never responded. 
Am I being punked here? What? So, um, you're on True Social now? Yep, I'm on True Social. And, uh, it's going really, really good. Number one app That's out great, there. That's great, but, um, what, why haven't you followed me back? Why haven't I what? You, you haven't followed me on True Social. I didn't even know you had a True Social account. Well, I, I don't yet, but I do plan on getting a True Social account if you promise to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna follow you, Squirt Bottle. <laughs> why not? I mean, was it something I said? Was, what did I do to make you so distant from me? I, I can think of a few things. What? The impeachment thing? You're getting warm. <laughs> I, I just did that to get your attention, Donald. <laughs> Donald, listen. Let's run away together. We can get married and share a true social account and live happily ever after. I, I gotta get going, Nancy. This was, uh... Will you call me when you get home? Uh, no. No, well, I'm not gonna you call you. Can you at least follow me back on true social? Goodbye, Nancy. <laughs> hey, what, what were we just talking about? You have symptoms, Joe. I don't have any symptoms. No symptoms is a symptom. Well, I feel fine. Feeling fine is a symptom, Joe. It is? Yeah. Did you happen to go to the bathroom today? Well, I didn't go to the bathroom, but I farted. Farting is a symptom. Farting is a symptom? Yep. Farting is a symptom. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Hey, it's the little guy. Hey, little guy. Did you get to sing? Yep, check it out. Turned out pretty good. Came out great. What is that, the thing? You guys are always calling me a little Very guy. Very professional. But look at me now. What? <laughs> wow. So this is what a hero looks like. <laughs> yep. Not all heroes wear capes, but this hero is saving lives. What 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 the hell are you talking about? Oh man, I need some water. Wait a minute, did he just say? Yep. He said he needed water. Yeah, I need water. So what? Needing water is a symptom. Yep. But but I drink water all the time. You, you drink oh. water all the time? Oh. Yeah. Now, drinking so? water all the time oh. is a symptom, Joe. Oh man, I I need to lay down. Laying down is a symptom. Yeah, laying down is a symptom. What, well, then I'll stand up. Standing up is a symptom. This isn't good. We need to get you tested right away. Tested for what? I feel good. Feeling good is a symptom, Joe. Joe? Yeah? Let me ask you something. Uh, all right. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry right now. Oh, no. Just as I suspected. Oh, my what? gosh. This is worse than I thought. What? 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 Eating is a symptom. Yep. Well, well then, then I won't eat. Well, not eating is a symptom. That's true. Well, well, then I'll eat. So, I already told you that eating is a symptom. Hey, come on, man. So, are you breathing right now? Good question. Yep, yeah, I, I think I'm breathing. Well, 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 hang on, let me see. Uh, yep, yep, I'm breathing. Oh, uh, my gosh. You gotta get the thing. Is the, is the thing approved? Approved? It doesn't matter if this is approved. Well, I, I'll wait till it's approved. <laughs> You're gonna wait till it's approved? Uh, well, yeah. Oh, oh, so you're just gonna wait around with symptoms until so the same is approved? Yeah, uh, so what? You're oh so my God. selfish! Uh, come on, man. If you don't get your thing, then my thing won't work. Uh, That's uh, hang on, man. I, I gotta go to the bathroom. Going oh, to my the bathroom God. is a symptom. This video is gonna tell you all the symptoms of the thing. The, the thing? What, 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 what's the thing? Just watch the video and you'll find out. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what the thing is. Wait, watch, just the watch the video, Joe. Joe. All right. Don't tell me what come to on, do. Come on, you're a big guy. Come on. Hey, hey, who put this little guy in charge it's anyway? We need to take this more seriously. Yeah, come on, watch the video. Next question. House drinker, are the people blaming the Democrats? That's preposterous. <laughs> you know, the people aren't blaming the Democrats, okay? They're blaming Republicans. Democrats aren't doing anything, all right? It's the Republicans who are responsible for all of this, all right? All they care about is the Constitution, you know? Free and fair elections, lower gas prices, and creating jobs. <laughs> Democrats are just trying to get rich, okay? You want to blame somebody for high gas prices? Then blame Putin. You, you want to blame somebody because your business shut down or you can't feed your family? Then blame Trump. <laughs> I'm just so sick and tired of peasants blaming us, you know? We, we don't care how much you pay us to pump. We don't care if you're broke. We're just trying to give money to other countries. Because that's what we care about the most. And that's what you should care about, too. <laughs> uh, what, what am I doing here? We're giving you a test to see if you're fit to be president. <laughs> I'm the president? Kind of. <laughs> uh, all right, Joe. Let's start the test. Hey, can I use my note cards? Uh, no. So, what's heavier? A mouse or an elephant? Well, uh, Mickey Mouse looks a lot bigger than Dumbo, so... Uh, Joe, uh, what's the Easter Bunny hide on Easter? Uh, uh, peanuts! Joe, what day is today? It's today! 
Joe, how many letters are in the alphabet? Uh, what's the alphabet? What is the answer to this question? Huh? Joe, if a rooster lays an egg, who's the father? Oh, man, that's a... That's a tough one. So, if the electricity went out, how would you watch TV? Uh, well, I'd, I'd use a candle. Joe, if you were adopted, would you tell your parents? Well, I wouldn't want to hurt their feelings. Joe, spell orange. Uh, the fruit or the color? Joe, it's a quarter to four. What time is it? Uh, $4.25. Joe, what sound does a duck make? Uh, a duck says, moo! Uh, Joe, what sound does a dog make? Uh, a dog says, Baka! Joe, what do we celebrate on Christmas? Thanksgiving! Uh, Joe, what's two plus two? Uh, two plus two equals, uh... Uh, two plus two equals potato! Good job, Joe! Yeah, good job, Joe! Am I fit for the job? Yep! You're fit for the job, all right! <laughs> all right, Joe, time to get back to work! Uh, who's Joe? In just the last few weeks, Spotify dropped its deal with Barack and Michelle, CNN Plus is set to shut down only a month after launching, Netflix stock is down 40%, Disney is losing its special tax status in Florida, <laughs> and freedom of speech has been restored on Twitter. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Everything woke turns to sh- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi, Jack. Hey, what's up, bro? I'm gonna need those toilets cleaned right away. Okay. Yeah. I want to make sure those toilets shine extra bright. That'd be great. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it, bro. And after you're done with that, I'd really like you to wash my car and pick up my dry cleaning. Yes, sir, bro. Yeah, it's actually boss. Okay? Oh, sorry. Boss. That's better. Hello? What's up? What's up? So are you ready to post a mean tweet? I thought you'd never ask. Hello, peasants. <laughs> We're here live with, um, um, uh, what's your name? Uh, Devin Nunes. We're here live with seven shooters? No, it's, it's Devin. Uh, are you saying Kevin? No, I'm saying Devin. You, your name's Severin? No, it's Devin. Anyways, um, <laughs> we're here with Steve, and, uh, he, he got a social media site. Um, can, can you tell me about your, your little hobby? Well, it's not a hobby. Well, it's not a hobby. <laughs> I, I heard you're working with Trump. Yep, True Social is Donald Trump's social media site. How is he? Huh? Do, do you get to see him? See who? Donald, do, do you get to see him? Yeah, I see him all the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that gets me so much. I miss him so much. Okay, can we just talk about True Social? Sometimes I, I, I pretend that we're married. I mean, <laughs> can you imagine that? I mean, Nancy Trump. Mm. Oh my gosh, that would be so great. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, True Social is uh, doing really good. We're getting tons of new members can, every day. Can, can you tell... Um, can you tell Donald that, that Nancy says hi? You want me to tell Donald Trump you said hi? Yeah, say, say, Donald, Nancy says hi. Mm. But, but, but say it all sexy like that, you know? Say, Nancy says hi. Uh, <laughs> if you sign up for a True Social account, you can say hi to him yourself. I mean, you know, um, I, I, I just might do that. <laughs> Good. We'll be looking forward to seeing you on True Social then. Um, hang on, I, I gotta get going. My, um, my sensor is here, is wearing out. I think I just shit my pants. Happy New Year, Nancy! Oh, yeah? We're so happy about it. Well, for starters, you're in prison. Whatever, <laughs> Trump. You're just mad because I won't shake you. <laughs> Laugh all you want, Mr. Poopy Pants. Hey! Y'all put me in the wrong prison! Hey, girl. What they got you up in here for? Because I won't date Republicans. Oh, I hear you, girl. Them Republicans are always asking me out on a date. Well, well, well. What are the odds of us being cellmates, huh? Yes, what are the odds? Don't worry, Bill will get us out of here. Oh, Bill, it's so good to see you. Are you ready for your conjugal visit? Hell no, I'm with Monica now. What? You're with Monica? Yep, we're getting married. <laughs> Great, what am I going to do now? Well, my guess is 25 to life. Get back here, shrub. You know you want this. <laughs> You can't resist my milkshake. Action 9 News at 5, Island, Tampa. Good morning, everyone. 
I'm a bartender. And, and I'm pretending to be president. We have some breaking news coming out of, like, America. And, and that's right next to the USA. And it's, like, totally right around the corner from the United States. Oh, damn it. I think I might have left the weed whacker on again. This is an important message for, like, the universe. We, we just received word from Etchesketch.com that millions of genetically modified Mallory's have been released into Florida. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> Getting to call on my burner phone. <laughs> Hello? Hi, this is John Solomon. Who the hell is John Solomon? Hey, how'd you get this number? Come on, guys. This is, like, totally serious. Yeah, I mean, a single bite from one of these genetically modified Mallory's and you'll never be the same again. Just ask Michael J. Fox. Oh, come on, man. You don't even know what affirmative action is. My fiance has red hair. Uh, this just in. Genetically modified Mallory's have been spotted in downtown Action Florida. Action 9's John Fetterman is on the scene. Hi, John. Hey, you guys. Uh, uh John, uh, uh, what's going on down uh, there? Thanks, MP. Wow, is like everyone okay? You way? Oh man, this is horrible. Are there any survivors? Where is my automobile? It was horrible. Yeah, I think they came from Russia. There were Mallory's flying all over the place. One landed <laughs> on my shoulder. I pissed my pants and forgot who I was for ten minutes. I had one land on my head. Could say I was wearing a mask though. True story. <laughs> this is truly shark and say. In American history. We are like totally joined with the creator of the genetically modified Mallory's. Introducing Dr. Scientist and Instagram model, Bill Gates. Hey, how you doing, Jill? It's Bill. <laughs> what? My name is Bill. You called me Jill. <laughs> I mean, I never talked to Hunter about his business dealing, so I, I don't know. Page 45. Okay, so like Dr. Gates or like whatever. Yeah. What should people like totally do on Earth to protect themselves from the genetically modified Mallory's? Well, <laughs> um, people, we need to come together. We, we, we need to lock it down. We need to wrap ourselves in bubble wrap and mayonnaise. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Hunter. Less is more, people. <laughs> so cover your faces. Stand six feet apart. Phone from home. Buy toilet paper and hide. <laughs> Those Mallory's are out there, and they'll find you. <laughs> that is it. I'm oh. moving to the sun. Oh. Damn it. Oh. I just oh. shit myself again. My fellow Americans. Uh, is he talking to us? I highly doubt it. <laughs> America, you're being played. Hey, order is a choice. What would you like to order? Everything you're seeing in America right now is a distraction. I say order! What would you like to order? The impeachment trial, the pandemic, the racism, the riots. It's all a distraction. Uh-oh. Is it a coincidence that just when the economy is booming, the stock market is setting record highs, we start winning the trade wars, school shootings have stopped, and our nation is at peace, and I'm a sure bet for re-election after fending off three years of investigation for impeachment, you will be forever impeached. And then, BAM! World crisis, pandemic, riots, looting, racism, and fake news. The stock market crumbles, everything is closed and canceled. Checking, tracking, tracing. Wear a mask, don't wear a mask. Hell, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. There are a couple ways not to get re-elected. An unpopular war, or a poor economy. And you are responsible for all of this. This, this is, is all just, just a cover up, up to distract America, America from finding out about the DNC, DNC collusion, collusion with, with the Clinton, Clinton campaign to, to fix, fix the campaign, campaign in favor of Hillary. Hillary. Um, check please. Look, I've got a lot of tables, okay? I'll be there in a minute. The creation of the Trump dossier. Uh, is there a back door in this place? The cover up and destruction of emails with incriminating information. Can someone get me an Uber? I predict the Democrats are going to incriminate each other for lying to the FISA court. Oops. For spying and wiretapping my campaign? Oh, crap. For colluding with foreign political actors like George Soros. Oops. Trust me, there's going to be a huge backlash against the Democratic petulance, the temper tantrums, the hypocrisy, and dishonesty. Is he talking about me? Is he talking about me? Is he talking about me? Wait, is he talking about me? Finally, America will see that the Democrats spent the last three and a half years focused on maintaining their power and only their power. <clears throat> Mr. President, are, are, are you talking to me? Um, we have a little bit of a problem. What is it? Did, did, did I poop my pants? Yo, um, 
Do you want to tell him? <laughs> uh, Mr. President, I'm sorry to tell you this, but um, I lied. Again. <laughs> That's all right. I, I lie all the time. I lie, too. Uh, me, too. I lie a lot. I lie every day. <laughs> I'm always lying. Why is my middle name? I like to lie on national TV. Oh, I love lying on TV. I like to lie. My whole life is a lie. <laughs> I, I like to lie, too. <laughs> yeah, lying is fun. You know, I mean, uh, 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 especially when, uh, 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 when you get away with it. <laughs> and I always get away with it. Down a frag of rock. Down a frag of rock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Hey, who said that? There's going to be some mild turbulence ahead. <laughs> hey, excuse me, uh, waitress? Yes? Hey, uh, what, what, what's tur, uh, tur, uh, 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 tur, uh, uh, you, you, you know, the thing? <laughs> Don't worry, sir. You're gonna be just fine. Hey, is that Superman out there? Pack your shit, Joe! Attention! The plane's going oh, down! Man. It appears that you uh, don't have a parachute. Wow, why, why, why would I shoot a parrot? Have a nice flight, Joe. Wait! Back when I used to drive an 18-wheeler, I was also a fisherman. I can help land this plane! <laughs> that was so nice of Nancy to pack my parachute for me. What a nice lady. Hey, Willie, I'm gonna be the president. Do-da, do-da. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So there's a seal. He's a seal. $33 billion, I thank you. <laughs> oh, your breath stinks! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, um, it, it was a long flight and I, I didn't have time to rinse off my dentures. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, have you been enjoying the money I sent you? Yes, um, did you fart? You can smell that? Yes! <laughs> Sorry, um, it, it actually started off as a butt whisper, but, um, <laughs> it ended up being a really moist shark, so... Do you need to take a shower? No, no, no. I mean, it's okay. I'm wearing the pants. Um, hey, you got anything to drink? Nancy, I would like to present to you the Money Launderer of the Year Award. Wow, this is such an honor. Thank you. You earned it. So many people I want to thank. I mean, the American taxpayers, without you peasants, none of this would be possible. You have a gift for laundering money, Nancy. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Can we go to the Standard Hotel now? Not now, Adam. I'm busy. But I'm hungry. Adam, you be quiet, you hear me? Be quiet. I want hot dogs and pasta. Damn it, Adam. Not now, okay? Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Adam just loves his hot dogs and pasta. I know. All right. I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye? Yes, goodbye. $33 billion and you throw me out like a giant store what? hooker? Is there another woman? Is that what this is about? Uh, I will not be ignored. I don't know what to say. I'll save you the trouble. I want a divorce. I am no one's number two. Oh. Okay. I'm taking the kids and going to my mother's, you cheater! Um, don't call me. All right, guys. I called you all here today because we've got a problem. What's wrong? Looks like the Supreme Court is going to overturn Roe versus Wade. Uh, so now we can't swim anymore? Oh, my gosh. Can we stop inviting her to these meetings? Lord Nancy, what are we going to do? Yeah, what are we going to do? I don't know, but we got to do something, and fast. They're taking away all of our power. If you don't want them to turn off your power, then, like, totally pay your electricity bill. It's called responsibility. Duh. Can somebody shut her up? Shut up, or I'm going to slap your ass through the sheetrock. Whatever. You guys probably don't even know what a garbage disposal is. Shut up. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> all right, guys, we need a distraction. What about my body, my choice? No. <laughs> Dr. Fauci put an end to that. What about a whistleblower? Yeah, a whistleblower might work. I can marry my brother again. No, no, no. We need something big. Something that's never been done before. Something that's going to intimidate these judges so they never do something like this again. I got it. Well, we're waiting. <laughs> a leak. A leak? Yep. Like, like a cyber leak? No, like a Supreme Court justice leak. That's brilliant! The liberals will go nuts, the judges will get scared, and then abracadabra! They'll never try something like this again! Way to go, Adam! Adam, you're a genius! Thank you! You just earned yourself a night at the Standard Hotel. Yay! I'm gonna call room service right now! Hello, room service? I'd like to order some pasta and hot dogs. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, Joe. So Selena Gomez or Ariana Grande? Oh, man. I I'll take them both with a side of Taylor Swift. Hey, hey, what about that Zendaya oh, girl? Oh, man. I'd like to take her on an airplane ride. <laughs> hey, you see that new episode of uh, uh, Cuties yet? Boy, did I. I never miss an episode. So, uh, you been to Epstein Island lately, or? I still go, but it's just not the same without Jeffrey. Well, ar aren't you afraid of getting caught, though, or? Nah, <laughs> I'm married to Hillary, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Hey, I, I keep meaning to ask you, how do you stay out of prison? What? Well, what's your secret? Well, it's simple, really. I mean, every time I do something wrong, the FBI, the liberal media, and the big tech companies just cover it up for me. So, <laughs> man, you're lucky. Oh, come on, man. You're married to Hillary. You got a lifetime supply of get-out-of-jail-free cards. Yeah, I know, but... But what? What's wrong, buddy? Well, I'm just not attracted to Hillary anymore. Yeah. I, I married Hunter's babysitter. It's like every time I look at her, I just... Want to throw up? Well, you, you should hang out with Hunter. He's always up to something. He, he can probably hook you up. I see a new girl on that boy's laptop every week. I'd love to hang out with Hunter. Yeah, he's <laughs> the smartest person I know. Can I take your order? Ooh, Hillary, what are you doing here? I'm working, Bill. This dress wasn't cheap. But I thought we had money. No, I have money. You're my jobless stay-at-home husband who doesn't make a dime. Yeah, well... What's yours is mine. <laughs> it's like me and my 10%. Hey, can you leave us alone, Hillary? You, you're gonna make me sick. How dare you, Bill? Everybody said I look beautiful. Ugh, where's the bathroom? Hey, I, Hillary. I gotta puke. Hey, Hillary, is that cake frosting <laughs> on your face? Joel. 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 Uh, I, I, I only answer questions from people who are on my list. What? Hey. Where, where's my teleprompter at? Use your flashcards, Joe. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, hello, hello, my name is uh, uh, Putin. No. And, and, and your name is Joe? No. No, no, no. That, that can't be right. <laughs> my name is Putin. So, so, so if, if your name's Putin, that, that means, well, uh, let's see here. Um, uh, three plus six Skittles carry the two divided by tomato and, uh, you know what? I, 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 I'm I going to have to pass on this one. Joe, look at your flashcards. Oh, oh there there it is. <laughs> My name is Joe. You needed flashcards for that? Uh, ask me another question. I, I don't I don't have a flashcard for that. You cross your legs like you belong on a Wheaties box. Uh, uh, hey, hey, is it snack time yet? No, but it's almost nap time. <laughs> hey, I, I, I went to the bathroom all by myself today. In your depends... Hey, uh, hey, you think you can get my boy Hunter a job? Did he spend all the money? Uh, take a look around, people. Welcome to Obama World. What'd he say? He said, I know it. He said he wants ice cream and another bitch or shot. Right, we'll circle back to that. Um, now, now that like, I'm president, um, I'm, I'm gonna like launch a formal investigation on a uh, Hunter Biden's laptop. Um, Mr. President, um, <laughs> you are Hunter Biden. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I guess I'll just investigate myself then. <laughs> like father, like son. Wait. You're my father? No, I'm not your father, you dumbass. Ooh, we are now on year 35, since the three weeks to flatten the curve we did. And we're so close to beating this. We've almost got this thing won. Wear your mask, stay inside, and stay safe. Hey, can we go get ice cream now? Ice cream again? Yes, we can go get ice cream now. Tax the rich. Hey, beep, what? Beep, boop. Ha, 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 ha. Excellent. Thank you for calling True Social. How can I help you? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello, is anybody there? I need help. Okay, what can I do for you? Get Trump on True Social. What was that? I said get Trump on True Social. Um, why, why would I do that? Because he hurt my feelings. Okay, how did he hurt your feelings? He made fun of my president. Why would President Trump make fun of himself? What? Why Trump is not my president? Actually, yes, he is. No, Joe Biden is my president. Eh, I wouldn't be so sure of that. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Okay, breathing is really, really simple. You just take a deep breath and then breathe out. <laughs> breathe in. Breathe out. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Well, I'm trying to teach you how to do it. You better delete Trump off your social. I'm going to delete my account. Well, 
Bye. <laughs> That's it. I'm deleting my account and moving to Canada. All right. Have a safe flight. I'm going to get true social shut down. <laughs> Good luck with that. Free speech only works if it's one-sided. Free speech is not for you. It's for <laughs> us. Free speech is actually for everybody. No, it's not. All right. Well, you got some packing to do and I got to get back to work. Um, have fun deactivating your account and thanks again for calling True Social. Have a great day. <laughs> Welcome back to the poo. I'm mad. I am too. I'm mad too. You we gotta know. do something about this. What do we do? I say we go on a sex strike. A sex strike? A, a sex, sex strike. strike. Sex strike. Mm -hmm. yeah, a, a sex, sex strike. strike. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yo, yeah, this gonna work. Oh, it's gonna work. But there's gonna be some hearts breaking all over the world tonight. I know a lot of you men out there are gonna be upset after hearing this. But... This is for a good cause. You men out there are just gonna have to deal with it. We're going on strike. No choice for me, no whoopee for you. That means two things. <laughs> I'm tweeting about it right now. And when people out there see us, the poo, go on a sex strike, I guarantee you the Supreme Court will change their minds. Sometimes you have to make an example out of people. And today's example is... No rights for me. No whoopee for you. You can't have none of this. I've got some bad news for all of you men out there that love us and want us on a daily basis. You won't be getting none of this no more. No choice for me. No whoopee for you. Take one last look, gentlemen. These meat curtains are officially closed. My body, my choice. Many of you men out there are probably crying after hearing this devastating news. But cheer up, buttercup. This won't be forever. So stay positive. As soon as this strike is over, our doors will be open once again for all of you men that love us. My doors is always open. Ugh, I think your back door is open because I can smell poop. Well, they don't call me whoopee for nothing. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Supreme Court Judge Clarence Thomas. Today, we're joined by Elizabeth Warren. How you doing, Elizabeth? <laughs> You seem upset. Is everything okay? I'm angry! I'm angry! I'm angry! Ah! So what you're saying is you're not happy. No, I'm angry! I'm angry! My ancestors would be furious right now! You need to settle down. <clears throat> What's got you so angry? Because I have reservations about who this will affect! You said reservations. Ah! <laughs> uh. So you're talking about the Supreme Court leak, right? Yes, I don't agree with it, and I'm so angry about who this is going to affect. Ah! Okay, who's it going to affect? It's going to affect poor women. <laughs> Wait a minute. So now you know what a woman is? For the moment, I know what a woman is, and this is going to affect poor women. <laughs> well, it's going to affect rich women, too. No, it won't. Rich women can get on a plane and fly somewhere. Poor women can't do that. Oh, they sure as hell can. No, they can't. Poor women don't have any money. So you're telling me that poor women can't drive or take a bus or a train or a boat? No. Poor women aren't smart. That's why they ended up like this in the first place. Well, rich women make mistakes, too. No, rich women don't make mistakes. That's why we're rich. rich. So what you're saying is... You don't care about the babies. No, I don't. I'm just angry. I'm angry. I'm rich and I'm angry. Well, we haven't even made a decision yet. Why are you so mad? Of course you made your decision. Why do you think they leaked it to everybody? <laughs> you know who leaked it? Yes, we all leaked it. Duh! Why would you do that? Because it's season, the best season of all. And as soon as the bricks are delivered and our paid protesters show up, you'll suddenly change your mind. That's how this works. Things that never happens. <laughs> well, Bill, it looks like we've done it again. Yeah, we sure did. <laughs> hey, we're going to get away with this, all right? Of course we'll get away with it, Bill. Oh, good. We're untouchable. Good, good, good. <laughs> Bill? Yeah? Did you remember to make it look like an accident? Uh, I, I thought you were going to make it look like an accident this time, Hillary. <laughs> no! Uh, I specifically told you to make it look like an accident, Bill! Uh, well, uh, I, I, I thought you said you were going to make it look like an accident this time. Bill? Yeah? How long have we been doing this? Uh, long time. And how many times have I told you to make it look like an accident? Uh, 
Every time. So why didn't you make it look like an accident this time, Bill? Well, I, I, I was out to dinner with Monica, and uh, I lost all track of time. That's just great. You had one job, Bill. Well, in my defense, I was actually getting a job from Monica. Shut up, Bill! Hey, uh, we're, we're not gonna get in trouble for this, are we, Hillary? No, Bill. Oh, good. We're not gonna get in trouble for this. Good, good. I cleaned up the Jeffrey thing, and I'll clean this up, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, I, I know you probably get asked this a lot, but, um, are, are, are you Burger King's mom? Oh, you remind me of my son, Andrew. Hey, uh, well, well, well thank you. You, uh, you remind me of my son, Hunter. Ooh. Hey, uh... Uh, it's Donald, Joe. Hey, Donald, Joe. No, it's just Donald. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's just Donald. Can you, uh, can you give me some, uh... Joe, it's just Donald. Nothing else. All right? I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, it's just Donald, nothing else. Can, can you give me, uh... Joe! Joe! Yeah? Do you really think that you're fit to be president? Well, sure I am. I mean, Obama's doing a great job. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions then? Well, um, <laughs> I, I don't see a teleprompter around. Joe, what's two plus two? Well, what do you want to know that for? That's right. <laughs> what, what's right? Your answer. Answer to what? What two plus two is. Uh, two plus two. Um, huh. Joe, uh, you, you already answered the question. I did? Joe, how, how many senators are from Delaware? Um, uh, well, uh, what's a senator? <laughs> what sound does a liar make? Huh? That's right. <laughs> hey, how many I get right so far? <laughs> how many do you think you got right so far? Huh? Joe, what day is it today? Um, yesterday? And how many days are in a week? Well, um, that would be Christmas. Or, uh, you know what? That, 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 uh, nope, that, that's a TV show. Joe, spell kleptocracy. Uh, see, uh, two, B, four, H, divided by onion, add the pickle, H, 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 R, T, S, subtract, H, Q, W, K, R, P. <laughs> Click, uh, cook, uh, cook, uh, cook, uh, cook, 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 How many states are in the United States, Joe? Uh, well, I mean, honestly, you know, it, it just depends. Joe, what sound does a dog make? Well, if the dog from America, it, 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 it's, uh, it, it sounds like, uh, hey, I, I'm a dog. <laughs> but, uh, if the dog from, like, another country, it just, it sounds like a tomato. Joe, how many numbers are in the alphabet? Oh, come on, man. That, that's a tough one. I, I can't count an entire box of cereal right now. Joe, if you had two apples and I gave you one, how many apples would you have? Well, if I had two and you gave me one, then I, then I wouldn't have any apples. All right, Joe. Good job. D did I pass? You sure did, Joe. You sure All did. All right. So, so am I fit to be governor or what? <laughs> I'm a... Joe. I'm Joe. And I'm Nancy. And, and we've, we've got, got baby, baby food. <laughs> Do you have a hungry baby? Uh, are you all out of baby formula? Have you searched every store in town only to find nothing but empty shelves? So read the teleprompter. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, you're, you're, you're a duck. No, it says you're in luck. Yeah, that's what I said. You need baby formula? We got baby formula. For just 17 payments of just $19.99, you can have half a can of partially used baby formula that may or may not contain cat hair. Absolutely free for just six payments of fifteen seventy five plus seventeen payments of just nineteen ninety nine. That's less than a tank of gas. And, and if you act now, I'll throw in an empty container of formula for just thirty seven payments of forty seven fifty five. That's a twenty five cent value, absolutely free for just seventeen hundred and fifty nine dollars and thirty five cents. That's less than a tank of gas. But wait, that's not all. For a limited time, I'll throw in a scratched-off lottery ticket for only 20 bucks, and I'll give you, uh... $20. Uh, $20 for just, uh... 17 payments of $60. 17 payments of $60! Good boy! And if you send us a check for $99, I'll throw in the morning after pill absolutely free for only six payments of $45, plus $35 for shipping and handling. That's a $14 value absolutely free for just $404, plus... 1500 bucks. But wait, we're not done. For just a measly $1,400, I'll throw in a second can of partially used baby formula that may or may not contain cat hair. Absolutely free for just six payments of $17.99. Wow, that's almost a full can. But wait, there's more. Uh, uh, because it's all Trump's fault, uh, the, 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 the... First hundred callers. First hundred callers will get to smell the $40 billion 
We're sending to Ukraine. <laughs> and I'll even throw in a used gas card with no money on it. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. But that's not all. No, no, no that, that's it. Oh. <laughs> read, read the teleprompter. And remember, people, if you don't have babies, you, you won't, won't need, need formula. formula. <laughs> and you'll have enough money for gas, too. Hey, it's all Trump's fault anyway. It's all Trump's fault. Well, looky what we have here. Oh, man. It's Trump, the great ultra mega king. Hey, go get my autograph book. Joe, I'm very disappointed with you. Oh, man. He knows my name. This is the worst inflation I've seen in my life. No, no, no. It's the worst inflation you've seen so far. Uh, good one. Yeah, I, I still got three years left. Uh, actually, I got three years left. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, what? Joe, do you really think that you and Obama are going to finish a four-year term? Well, of course. I I'm doing a good job. Uh, actually, I'm doing a good job, but... Oh, yeah? What have you done? Uh... That's a good question. What have you built? Nothing. Nothing. What's back? Nothing. Nothing. What's better? Uh... uh... <laughs> exactly. Pack your shit, Joe. I'll be back for my job real soon. Come on, Burger King. Give me another chance. I love your Whoppers. Are you going to let Trump back on Twitter? Yep, I'm going to. I swear, if you let Trump tweet on Twitter again, I'm just going to lose it. <laughs> I, I, is this funny to you? Yep, very funny, because I've already given it back to him. <laughs> oh my gosh, if they let Trump back on Twitter, I'm like totally going to leave politics and go back to bartending in Canada. I swear, I'll do it, okay? The only reason that Elon is doing this is because I won't date him. True Social, customer service, how can I help you? Is this True Social? Yes, it is. What can I do for you? I'm trying to delete my post, but I'm having a hard time. Can you help me? Sure. Have you tried the delete button? The delete button? Yeah, the delete button. No, I've just been using bleach and a hammer. Hillary, shut up. Me and Monica are trying shut to Shut up, hell! Sorry about that. Uh, no problem. Um, are you logged in? No. Okay. Log in. Okay. It's it's asking me for my password. Do you remember your password? Of course I do. It's uh Benghazi. Okay, so just click the delete button. The delete button? Yeah. You click the delete button and your post will magically disappear. So I don't need to smash my phone? No. So I don't need to write in a suicide note? Nope. Just click the delete button. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need something a little bit stronger than just a delete button. Well, uh, unfortunately, that's all we have. That's all you have? Whatever. Is there anything else I could do for you? Yeah, you can suspend Donald Trump's account. <laughs> for what? You think it's okay for Americans to hear the truth? Shut up, Hillary! Yeah, it's great, and quite frankly, it's long overdue. Uh, what difference does it make? Ah! It actually makes a huge difference. Well, if you tell Americans the truth, rich and powerful people will go to prison! Yeah. That's kind of the point. Suspend Donald Trump's account now! <laughs> That's not going to happen. Well, then I'm deleting my account. That's it! Oh, don't go. Hillary, shut up! You just woke up Monica. Hey, where'd you put my... Go spot? ahead. What's going on with the rising inflation? Well, inflation is inflation, okay? And every inflation is different. For example, inflation on the moon is different than inflation on Earth. She's doing it! You Worst go, girl! In history, Tootie! Well, it's more of an what's observation, your question? but what's the plan? Well, we're obviously working together. Well, we're obviously working together so we can work together to get the work done while we're working together on the work that we're working on. Tootie, do you still live with Mrs. Garrett? Okay, I knew she was going to be good, but I didn't know she was going to be this good. Tootie, gas continues to rise. What is the president doing to change this? I've misplaced my spoon. There are plenty of extra spoons around here. How many can you find before I do? Are you just reading the back of a Captain Crunch box? She's doing it. She's really doing it. Go ahead. What's the president doing about baby formula? Ever heard of breastfeeding? Huh? No more questions. House drinker. Yeah. What's going on with the baby formula shortage? There's not a baby formula shortage. We just don't have any of it for sale. <laughs> are the rumors about Joe Biden delivering baby formula to the border true? Are, are you saying that babies from other countries aren't hungry? That's not what I was asking you. You want little babies to starve just because they're not from America? Ugh. How dare you? Okay, what's being done to solve the baby formula shortage? Well, there was less babies in America. There'd 
be more formula. So. so you think there should be less babies in America? I, I think it's something that we need to discuss, you know? I mean, men are having babies. Women are having babies. It's just too many babies. <laughs> oh, the $41 billion to Ukraine? Yeah. Well? Well, what's your question? Well, how can America, who is in debt trillions of dollars, mm -hmm. help another country financially? What are we supposed to do? Help Americans? <laughs> I, I, I don't understand your question. If Americans are broke, right. where's the money coming from? W what are you going to ask me next? How I was able to give my staff a 21% raise? <laughs> House drinker, the people want to know. The people can mind their own business, okay? Because we make the rules and we provide the information, so that's all they need to know. House drinker with a straight face, is Joe Biden doing a good job? Joe's doing a fantastic job, okay? Gas prices are up. Inflation is rising. His approval rating is the worst in American history. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. Do you guys, like, totally remember when I, like, invented Pop-Tarts? Oh, man. Woo! That, uh, that, 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 that takes me back to the time I was shot at. Wait a minute. You were shot at, too? <laughs> oh, I know what that's like. <laughs> I tell you, if I had a dollar for every time I was shot at... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember like, 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 like it was Tuesday. I mean, I was uh, I, I was sitting there in front of my record player, and uh, Clint, Clint Eastwood uh, look, look, look right at me, and he said, uh, uh, you, you, you feel lucky? And I said, I say, what? <laughs> and then, son, son of a bitch, he said, uh, well, do you punk? Oh, my gosh. Your story totally reminded me of the time that I totally, like, slipped on the edge of my toilet and, like, totally invented the flux capacitor. What a coincidence! I invented the flux capacitor, too! <laughs> I remember when me and Monica invented my first flux capacitor. Speaking of flux capacitors, I, 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 wish I, I wish I could go back in time to the, to the day I signed the Declaration of uh, Independence. I totally remember that day! That was the first time I had ever met Abraham Lincoln. Oh, I remember that day. That's the day I invented Pac-Man. <laughs> well, while you were busy inventing Pac-Man, I was busy writing a script for a little movie you all might know as Rocky. <laughs> -da -da. I, 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 I think I might have invented a, a Pe Pepto-Bismo, uh, 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 but, 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 but then again, it, 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 it might have been a NyQuil. I, I, I can't remember. <laughs> My memory's a little wishy-washy after, uh, after all. That, that, was, that was around the time I was a uh, uh, king of England. Um, have you guys, like, totally read my new book, Trigger? I thought Michael Jackson had a moonwalk! Oh, I also wrote a book called Liberal Privilege. Hey, man, I remember the first time I met Hillary. She just won Miss America for the third year in a row. Oh, man, that reminds me of, uh, back when I was, uh, 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 uh stranded on this, uh, island with, uh, n n n n nothing but a volleyball and, 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 and a bunch of, uh, fe FedEx packages. And, and, and all I wanted to do was, uh, 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 uh deliver them packages. Um, I never told anybody this before, but, like, when I was a kid, my house got picked up by an alien tornado, and it, like, totally swept me into another dimension, and my dog Benji had to follow the yellow brick road to Jurassic Park, and I just remember clicking my heels together saying, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> Yeah, I remember it was supposed to be like a three-hour tour, but a uh, 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 great, great Greg and a uh, 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 Mar Mar Marsha uh, wanted to hang out with the Beaver, and uh, you know me, 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 uh, me, me, me and Wally uh, went by to see Eddie, and then <laughs> son of a bitch, that was the day I invented bottled water. O M G! The like same total thing happened to me when I like totally flew to the moon. So I heard you're gonna quit when I get reelected. Yep, that's correct. So you admit I'm gonna get reelected? No, that's not what I said. <laughs> And what makes you think you're gonna have a job when I'm reelected? Well, I am. Um... Cause as soon as I'm reelected, you're the first one to go. But you're gonna fire me? No, I'm not gonna fire you. Oh, good. I'm just gonna send you straight to prison. Prison? Yep. For what? <laughs> Take your pick. But but I'll never make it in prison. I know. How could you do this to me? How could you do this to America? I, I was just trying to help. No, you were just trying to get rich. So what's gonna happen to me? Well, if you're lucky. Life in prison. No! <laughs> Everything woke turns to sh. Hey, Joe. Uh, 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 uh. Joe. Uh, uh, are you talking to me? Your name's Joe, isn't it? Uh, I think so. Joe, did you know that half of your Twitter followers are fake? What? Half your Twitter followers. They're fake. Uh, what? What's Twitter? Joe, why is gas so expensive? 
Uh, cause we need to sell electric cars. And <laughs> why is there a baby formula shortage? Uh, c uh cause Roe v versus Wade. So why is the border open? Well, it, it's election time, so... <laughs> and why isn't Hunter in prison? Uh, uh, cause he's my son. And the smartest person so I know. So what have you done for America? Uh, are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah. What have you done for America? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. You know the Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> uh, the, the what of the what? Do you stand for the national anthem? Uh, do I stand for what? Joe, who's the president of the United States? Oh, <laughs> Obama not to tell me to say anything. Does Obama tell you what to say? Uh, I'm not gonna say nothing. Relax, Jeez. Who are you talking to, Joe? Ah, uh, that's just Obama talking to my ear. <laughs> Joe, where are you? Well, uh, Obama, you copy? Where Where's the Joe? What, uh, Obama, is that you? No, it's me. It, it's you? Who's me? I'm me. You, well, if you're me, then who am I? A joke. That's who you are. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Hey, Joe? Yeah, Mitch? No, it's Lindsay. Oh, sorry, Cindy. No, Lindsay. Lindsay Graham? Graham? Oh, no, no, no. Hunter's gonna need at least a pound. You're the nicest man I ever met, Joe. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you smell like heaven. Yeah, I, I wish they'd bring back the McRib, too. I admire you so much, Joe. Hey, uh, have you ever heard of Grinder, Joe, I made you a mixtape of all the songs that make me think of you. Yeah. <laughs> It smells like a rhino up in here. Joe, me and you should get an apartment together. Hey, is there a laundromat close by? My money's all dirty. I, I gotta wash it off, you know? I admire you so much, Joe. I feel like I should be making a little bit more than 10%, though, right? Can I get some of that money? I mean, I I'm the big guy. I, I should be getting at least 90%, right? I don't know. What's not to like about you, Joe? You're the perfect man. Oh, man. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oops. Never mind. Voting for you was the smartest thing I ever did. I, I don't even know where I am right now. Joe, anybody that doesn't admire you is a fool. My name's Yank Hill. I'm an alcoholic. This is communion, not AA. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, um, I meant to say I'm here for my communion. Nope. Nope. Yep. I, I, I'm sorry, are you saying nope or yep? I'm saying nope. So you're refusing me communion? Yep. You're racist! Why can't I have it? You know why. Aw, oh, come on, man. Cause it lasts? Yep. It's not like I'm doing it. <laughs> I got five kids and like 40 grandkids. Move along, please. Come on, I I'm just supporting it for votes. I, I don't believe in it. <laughs> but in order to stay rich and powerful, you know, I gotta do it. <laughs> you understand, right? Go away. No communion for you! <laughs> Whatever, man. You think I need your cheap bread and water down wine? I'm rich. You want communion? You know what to do. All right, all right. Just let me get my vote and then I'll switch it back up. <laughs> Cause, um... So, House Drinker, you've been in office for 34 years now. What have you been up to? Well, um... <coughs> um... Drinking. Lots of drinking. Um, are, are you still drinking? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, that's, uh... That's behind me now. <laughs> What, what are, you, are you buying? We're here live with Nancy, your eyebrows. Cut. We're here with a house drinker who has some <laughs> important news. Go ahead, Nancy. Hello, peasants. Um, due to recent events, um, I, along with the entire Democratic Party, have decided to fire our private security teams. Our thoughts and prayers will be our weapons from now on. <laughs> We will no longer support anyone who owns a gun. So today, I'm advising all of you peasants out there to do the same. <laughs> if you want a gun, turn it in. Get rid of it. You don't need it. Our thoughts and prayers are all the protection you need. If you got a problem, our thoughts and prayers are just a sweeter, sweet away. <laughs> we'll protect you. Somebody breaking into your house? Don't worry about it. Our thoughts and prayers are at your service. With our thoughts and prayers, you won't have to worry about being afraid anymore. Our thoughts and prayers will save the day. So today, be a brave peasant. Be a hero like us. <laughs> Give up your guns and let our thoughts and prayers be the only weapon you'll ever need. <laughs> and cut! Good job, everybody. Great show. <laughs> I could barely keep a straight face while I was saying all that. <laughs> so you really fired your private security team? Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> of course not. Um, we're, we're actually hiring more 
uh, private security. So I, I just said that because um, we want all the peasants out there to be unarmed and unable to protect themselves and their families. Because um, when that happens, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> but what about the Constitution? Constitution? <laughs> what Constitution? Long before the MAGA days, Barack Obama paved the way. Democrats, we had it made. Those were the days. <laughs> well, Nancy, we got a problem. Seriously, Chuck? You think I don't know we have a problem? Well, I didn't know if you knew or not. Of course I know, Chuck. I know everything. Oh, why don't you just go get your hair done? Hey, I don't gotta go nowhere, do I? No, Joe, you ain't gotta go nowhere. <laughs> okay, good, because I don't like going anywhere unless it's like a high school. Hey, did someone order a pizza? Hey, everybody, the pizzas are here. <laughs> wink, wink. Did you bring the ice cream and vodka, too? What kind of party would it be without ice cream and vodka? And cigars. But what if we say Joe is unfit to be president? And then I run for president. Uh, actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> and then I can be vice president. And then we can move back to the White House. Hey, where's my cheese? <laughs> oh, this pizza is delicious. Oh, it tastes so good with ice cream, too. I like my pizza with sauce on it. I like pasta and hot dogs. Adam loves his pasta and hot dogs. Hey, Adam, you remember when you stayed at the Standard Hotel? Yeah. <laughs> All you did was order pasta and hot dogs the whole time you were there. Yeah, I love pasta and hot dogs. I can't believe I'm going to be president. I can't believe I'm going to be vice president. I can't believe I still don't have my cheese. All right, guys, let's get rid of Joe. Somebody call Pelosi and tell her the good news. Don't be starting that. I ain't the help. I ain't no maid. You make your own phone call. Easy, Michelle. Wait, what, what? Okay, so if Kamala becomes president, does that mean carrots will be illegal? Oh, my gosh. I need some more ice cream and vodka. Honestly, <laughs> I'd like to have some ice cream and vodka, too. I'm going to make some more pasta and hot dogs. Anyone want some? Oh, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. How you doing? <laughs> All right, um, so, uh, but what, what, are you, what are you doing here? Um, I, I, I'm, I'm here to get my dentures looked at. Help me out here. Um, so so dentures are like next to the kidneys, right? No, dentures aren't next to the kidneys. They're not. No, dentures are in your mouth. And the mouth is next to your teeth. <laughs> oh yeah, I always get teeth and toenails mixed up. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course I do. I, I I'm the best proctologist in America. But this is a dentist's office. Yeah, I'm a dentist too. You just said you're a proctologist. Dentist, proctologist. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> hey, are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, hey, excuse me. Um, yeah? Wh what's he uh, doing over there? I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> um, uh, don't, don't you work here? Yeah, but I wasn't oh, hired yeah. for my credentials. <laughs> Does anybody here know what you're doing? Nope. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, hey, is that where the liver goes? I ain't got no clue. I don't know. <laughs> is it no time yet? I I'm a heart surgeon, right? Hey, come here. Hey, hey, hey. Where am I? Hey, you know, I just, um, I, I just forgot. I, I got a hair appointment I got to get you. <laughs> that's all right. I'm a veterinarian. I can cut your hair. Oh, that's so moist. Open wide. That's not my hair. That's my mouth. Well, well what's that inside your mouth? Those are my tissues. All right, all right, relax. <laughs> I'm a foot doctor. I, I know what I'm doing. Oh, gosh, stop it. I, I, open wide, I can't see. Oh, my gosh. Is there anybody around here that knows what you're doing? I, I have. Hello? Former Clinton campaign manager, Robbie Mook? Who is it? It's the cable guy. There's nothing wrong with my cable. Did I say cable? I meant Domino's. I didn't order a pizza. Can you sign for this suicide, I mean FedEx package? I'm not expecting a package. I'm from PG&E. Do you smell gas? No. Somebody call for a taxi? I didn't call for a taxi. DoorDash! I didn't order DoorDash. It's Publisher's Clearinghouse. Here's your check for a million dollars. I didn't sign up for that. Do you have a few moments to talk about our Lord and Savior? Not with you. FBI! I have a search warrant. Hi, police. There's a crazy woman outside my house trying to Clinton me. Can you send a SWAT team right away? Woke one one, how can I help you? <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, somebody's breaking into my house. Okay, before we get started, I would like to send my thoughts and prayers on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually makes me feel a lot better. All right, thoughts and prayers are $25. Do you have a major credit card? A uh, major credit card for thoughts and prayers? 
Yes, but let's just add that to your shopping cart. <laughs> All right, well, uh, uh, they're still breaking into my house, though. Okay, I'm gonna need you to stay calm. All right, I'm calm, I'm calm. Yeah, would you like a private security guard? <laughs> yeah, that, that would work. Okay, good. We actually have a specialist with um, two security guards for the price of one. Are you interested? Yeah, I mean, two for the price of one. I mean, that, that, that's a good deal. Good. I have actually chosen this package for myself. <laughs> okay, um, do you need these security officers to have weapons? Well, well, it looks like these guys have weapons, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so one weapon will cost $450 per hour. Um, would you like to add bullets? Yeah, I better add those, too. Okay, so, um, it's gonna be $5,000 for... 20 bullets. Um, would you like to add pepper spray with that? Wait, 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 wait. That, that, that seems like an awful lot of money for bullets. Sure. You can't put a price on safety. Um, oh, I'm also going to have to add a privilege tax of 50%. Pr uh, 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 did you say privilege tax? Yes, privilege tax. Uh, you're white, right? Uh, uh yeah, but, but uh, can you hurry and send somebody quick? I mean, these, these guys have made it into my head. <laughs> um, sir? Sir? Welcome back to the pool. A talk show that's coming for your guns. That's right. Watch out, because I'm coming for your guns. I'd like a cheeseburger, french fries, and a Diet Coke, please. White people shouldn't even have guns. Mm-hmm. Republicans shouldn't have guns either. I'm coming for your guns. Can I get a cheese pizza with pepperoni, sausage, and extra cheese, please? I don't even know why white people are allowed to have guns. Mm-hmm. They ain't gonna have them for long. <sighs> Cause I'm coming for them. Speaking of George, does anybody else miss George? Yeah, I do. I miss George every day. I can't believe it's been two years. Mm-hmm. I miss him, too. I'm coming for your guns. <sighs> George would have wanted it that way. <laughs> George had his whole life ahead of him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. George was running for governor. He was gonna be an astronaut, too. And he just got accepted into Harvard. Mm -hmm. Can I see a dessert menu? And can I have some cake while I eat with some extra crispy chicken? I wish George was still here. Mm -hmm. He know what to do. George will always be my hero. He changed the world. All George ever wanted was for me to come and get your guns. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Is he lunch time? Michael! Ah, oh, fuck. I gotta say... You look pretty good in orange. <laughs> oh, Michael, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You know what I'm talking about? It's gonna be okay. Is there anything I can do, baby? Hey, I need you to smile, Brian. All right? I can't stop crying. Yeah, me neither. I want to come and visit you right now. I have to see you. All right, all right. Settle down, Brian. <laughs> I can't. I need to hold you. I can't breathe. Hey, we're gonna get through this together, all right? Settle down. I'm gonna get you out of there. Uh, don't worry, I know you will. I'm still gonna be president. You will be, Michael. You will be. Today is a sad day in America. Mm-hmm. I can't stop crying. This is all Trump's fault. It's all Trump's fault. Michael Avenetti is the Holy Spirit. It's all Trump's fault. <laughs> we need to free Michael Avenetti. Mm -hmm. I can't believe this is happening. Michael, if you can hear me, mm -hmm. don't give up. Nope. You're still gonna be president. That's right. You're the savior of the republic. Don't worry, Michael. I'm gonna get you out of here. Yeah, uh, you be strong for me, all right, Brian? All right? I can still smell you. Uh, don't you give up on me, all right? I'm gonna be right here. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. Hey, Stormy, it's Michael. Hey, uh, sorry for what I did, all right? Will you marry me? <laughs> oh, bye. Don't wanna be all hey, man. Let me tell you this. Ugh! Smell like B.O. Yeah. Uh, that's probably me. Ugh! Listen, the older you do get, yeah. the more rules they're gonna try to get you to follow. Yeah, I, I, I say that to Hunter every day. You just gotta keep on living. Yep. L-I-V-I-N. Whatever the hell you just said. That's why I'm taking everybody's guns. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah? Hey, Tom Cruise, that guy over there's got a gun. Hey, man, I, I know you wanna look tough there holding a gun. Hey, my dog ate my stash last night. You want to be real tough. Turn in your gun. That's what a hero yeah. would do. Yeah, to follow him around till he pooped it out. People who own guns are nothing but cowards. Buy yourself a Lincoln instead. Hey, you ever smoke dog shit? Turn in your guns, man. All right? Yeah. That's what Corn Pop used to say. All right, all right, all right. Huh? 
Nancy? Yeah? Where's Paul's mugshot? Paul who? Your husband? Husband? Where's his mugshot? Mugshot? Yeah. Where's his mugshot? I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about? Nope. I've got no clue. Your husband was arrested the other day. Excuse me? Paul was arrested? That's a lie. Paul was with me. Paul was with you? Yeah. Paul was with when? me. When? Um, when, when did he get arrested? Sunday? Yep. He was with me on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't. Yes, he was. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What were you doing? We were, um, we, um, we... We were, um... He wasn't with uh, you, Nancy. That's preposterous. Of course he was with me. <laughs> no, he was getting arrested. Oh, yeah? For for what? But drunk driving? Okay, now I know you're lying. Me and Paul, we don't even drink, okay? <laughs> what? Where's Paul's mugshot, Nancy? He doesn't have a mugshot, okay? And why doesn't he have a mugshot? Because he was never arrested. Let me guess. If you believe it, then it's not a lie, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and now, for my next trick, a la peanut butter sandwiches. I'm going to turn your taxpayer money into three $600 checks for you peasants out there. And then bippity-boppity-boo, I'm going to magically turn taxpayer money into $40 billion for Ukraine. Then hocus pocus, I'm going to crash your 401k. And then after that, abracadabra. You're gonna pay $2,000 more in property taxes and rent. And then, make a lake a high, make a honey hole. $800 more for gas. And by the power of Grayskull, you're gonna pay 3,000 bucks more for groceries. But wait, I'm not finished. Open sesame. I'm gonna keep the border open. And then, presto changeo. I'm gonna take away all your guns. And for my final trick, I'm gonna make Hunter's legal problems disappear. Ugh. If Joe Biden is the answer, how stupid is the question? Well, I'm stuck. Uh, I am too. I got nothing! I, I don't even know what's going on. We gotta figure out a way to get these peasants to turn in their guns. Let's start brainstorming. Well, uh, why don't we just take them? Uh, cause the Constitution? What's that? A piece of paper written by morons that says that peasants' rights shall not be infringed. I hate that piece of paper! Uh, me too. <laughs> It's the bane of my existence. Well, can't we just rip it up? I've tried, Joe. I've tried. I wish the Constitution was on a computer. Yeah, <laughs> then you could just delete it. <laughs> that was a good one, but um, we gotta get serious. Well, why don't we make shooting somebody illegal? That's um, that's actually not a bad idea. Can we do that? I mean, yeah, I, I think so. Wow, it was right in front of our faces the whole time. Huh? Illegal to shoot someone. Now, why didn't we think of this, this before? Is, um, <laughs> this is going to change everything. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you, you can't shoot somebody, shoot somebody, then why do you need a gun? If it's a law, then nobody's going to do it. Exactly. Well done, Joe. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just think and stuff comes out. You sound like my husband. <laughs> All right, so first thing Monday morning, we're going to make shooting someone illegal. Uh, I think this is going to work. Yep. It has to. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Welcome back to January 6th Theater. I'm your host, Nancy. And I'm your host, Nancy. It's been a very productive couple of days, huh? Yes, it has, Nancy. And it looks like the January 6th theater is just about to start. The Honorable Judge Pelosi is coming out. Order in the court! Your Honor, Nancy Pelosi is innocent. And it's all Trump's fault. It's all Trump's, Trump's fault. fault. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> call your first witness. I call Nancy Pelosi. Miss Pelosi. Yes? Where were you on January 6th, running for my life from Trump supporters? And how would you describe January 6th? The darkest day in American history. I agree. I agree, too. And now, introducing the January 6th Chasers! Come on, guys! <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, Miss Pelosi, yes? Who is responsible for the darkest day in American history? There's only one man that can do such a horrible thing. And that man's name is Ray Epps. I, I, I mean, I mean, shoot. <laughs> that man's name is Donald Trump. Your Honor, please trick in Ray Epps' name from the record. Oh, I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> Your Honor, the evidence is clear. Nancy Pelosi is innocent. And Donald Trump is guilty. Then it shall be done. Bailiff. It's all Trump's fault. And now, <laughs> a man that needs no introduction, 
Mr. 81 million votes, the best president in the universe, Joe Biden! Hey, where am I? Do I keep my mask on or take it off? Thanks for being on the show, Joe! Hey, thanks, Johnny Carson! It's Jimmy! Hey, is it all right if I fork me here? What wow. Look at that crowd! There's gotta be at least 10 people up there! Hey, there's Jill's husband! It's great to have you on the show, Joe! What? What do you say? I said it's great! Can somebody turn the clapping machine off? Oh, that's better. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, you know, it's, it's been going good. And, um, Hunter's doing great. So, Joe, how's the Build Back Better going? Well, Merv Griffin, it's, uh, it, it's been going good. Um, worst approval rating in history. But, uh, <laughs> but gas prices are up, uh, grocery shelves are empty, and people are genuinely unhappy. Why are they so mad? You want to know why they're mad, Jerry Springer? I do. Because it's all Trump's fault. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. What's the deal? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like that. That's awesome, Joe. Hey, hey, you know what's awesome, Jay Leno? It's Jimmy. <laughs> Mayonnaise and peanut butter in the same jar. Joe, I'm going to ask you a serious question. A uh, pre-approved question, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Joe. All right, Joe, this is what you've been training for. No cards engaged. Joe, how do you? Uh, I'd like to solve the puzzle. <laughs> I'm not John, I, I mean, Joe. I, can I phone a friend? or? Yeah, I, I... <laughs> Joe, how do you start? Uh, what is tapioca pudding? Joe, you're the best president ever! Yeah, I know. How do you do it, Joe? Well, I mean, it's simple, really, Conan O'Brien. <laughs> uh, it, it's like you pour the water, and, and then the bathtub in the sink on the toilet in the basement next to the upstairs kitchen has a button. And uh, that's uh, that's on the ceiling fan next to the front yard in the warehouse next to the microphone. <laughs> and that's where you find the thermos. And that is how time travel is possible. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, you know, back, you know, I mean... They say I'm a moron. They say I don't care about crime. They say I'm a total disgrace. You know what I say? Beetlejuice! 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 All I want to do is get reelected so I can continue to turn Chicago into a bigger shithole than it already is. So of course I take it personally when people try and stop me. I'm trying to get rich over here. Look, I know crime is out of control and my approval rating is the lowest of any mayor in American history. But as long as there's cemeteries, and open borders, I'm always gonna get reelected. Chicago was named the most dangerous city in the United States, and I'm pretty proud of that. And that's why I need to get reelected to keep Chicago dangerous, to keep crime up, to keep innocent people afraid and hungry. Without me, Chicago would actually succeed. Do you really wanna see that? Of course you don't. Look, I get it. I look like I should be starring in a Batman movie. And I sound like I gargle tinfoil. But I'm not here for you. I'm here to help myself. The most important thing for me to do is stay in power. Stay rich. Yeah, everyone in Chicago is suffering. But I'm doing fine. It's not like it's my fault. You're doing bad. So make the right decision. Keep Chicago a shithole and vote for me. Or don't. I'm gonna get reelected whether you like it or not. All right. Let's start off with the first pre-approved question of the day. Joe, is America okay? Well, sure it is. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Let me uh, check my notes here. Um, you know, uh, 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 since I took office, n uh, n nobody's in debt no more. Everybody has a savings account and everyone is financially comfortable. Are you being serious right now? Well, yeah, I'm serious. I'm, I'm, I'm 81 million percent serious. How do you think America is okay? Well, uh, <laughs> the average gas price right now is Six bucks a gallon. And, uh, in some states, it's eight. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> if people can afford to pay that much for gas, and everything's just fine. But they can't afford it. Everyone's going broke. Ah, uh, that's not true. <laughs> the Federal Reserve, they did a survey. Joe, people are broke. But I raised the minimum wage. And then you raised inflation. Yeah, so? <laughs> it all evens out. Joe, America is trillions of dollars in uh, debt. come on, man. <laughs> That's not so bad. You gave $40 billion to the Ukraine. It's in the past. Get over it. You gave our weapons to Afghanistan. Uh, you can't prove that. The borders are open, Joe. I'm just letting some fresh air in. You want to take people's guns. Hey, I'm just trying to help, all right? Guns aren't going to protect nobody, all right? Guns are bad. I mean, can you imagine if that little girl Anne had a gun? <laughs> She'd have never wrote a book and nobody would even know her name. Joe, you have like the worst approval rating in history. Uh, approval ratings don't mean nothing. Joe, your son Hunter belongs in prison. Nah, nah, man. <laughs> my, my son Hunter, he he needs to be a senator, right? 
He's the smartest person I know. You're a puppet. Hey, hey uh, can y'all hang on for just a minute? <laughs> they, they haven't told me what to say yet. You've completely destroyed America and the Constitution. Yeah, the Constitution is an absolute. Joe, who's pulling your strings? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> I, I got a list. Uh, it's, uh... Joe, do you have any last words? Last words? What? It's over, Joe. Uh, what's over? It... It's all over. Hey, come on, man. What's going on? Where, where am I? You're at the end of the road, Joe. <laughs> uh, are, are you firing me? Uh, no. <laughs> We're not firing you, Joe. Huh. Well, that's good. <laughs> We're just getting rid of you. <laughs> getting rid of me? Yep. We're getting rid of you, Joe. <laughs> but why? I, I, I said everything you told me to say, and I, and I did everything you told me to do. And we appreciate that, Joe. You did a great job. Yeah, Joe, it, it was great working with you, but we don't need you anymore. <laughs> you, you don't need me anymore. Well, actually, we never needed you. <laughs> but I won the election. <laughs> you, um, you want to tell him? Hey, come on, man. I, I don't understand what's going on. And that's why we picked you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You're good at what you do, Joe, but unfortunately, you can't be president anymore. Wait a minute. I'm the president? <laughs> I'm going to miss you, Joe. Yeah, I'm going to miss you, too. <laughs> Goodbye, Joe. But I've done so much. I mean, look at the gas prices. L look at the inflation. L look at all the empty grocery store shelves. We know, Joe. <laughs> we know. Yeah, we know, Joe, but you got to go. <laughs> yep. It's time to go. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Where, where, where am I going? Someplace nice and hot. Oh, that sounds good. Um, What about Kabbalah, though? Well, she's, uh, she's going to be joining real soon, Joe. Uh, well, then who's going to be president? <laughs> president Pelosi. Would you flip that switch, please? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> hey, Kamala. Can you come downstairs, please? <laughs> House drinker? Yes? Your husband's DUI? Huh? Your husband's DUI? I heard you the first time. But like I said before, this is all Putin's fault. How is this all Putin's <laughs> fault? Excuse me? What did you just say? I said how it is this It doesn't matter all... what you said, okay? I'm doing this talking here, right? And don't interrupt me. But it's my job to ask hey, questions. Hey, hey, hey! You shut your mouth when you're talking to me, okay? Everything is Putin's fault. It's Putin's fault that gas is so high. Putin's fault that inflation is out of control. And it's Putin's fault that we're in a war with Mars. We're in a war with Mars? Hey, if I wanted you to talk, I'd shove my arm up your ass and work your mouth like a puppet. You hear me? You hear me? And now I'm going to answer a few questions from the internet. <laughs> um, here, <Jim> Nancy. <laughs> That's me. Um... I, I'm a single mother with two jobs, and I can't afford gas or food. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Can you help? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> you mean to pay your bills? I'm not your mom. <laughs> Obviously, you don't have very good paying jobs, because if you did, you could afford gas and food. <laughs> I mean, what kind of person can't afford gas and food? Am I right? <laughs> if you want my advice, turn your kids into CPS. All right, next letter. <laughs> Dear Nancy, um, I'm homeless and hungry. Can you help? <laughs> what am I supposed to do, huh? <laughs> you, you, you want me to feel sorry for you? I mean, it's not my fault you're homeless. <laughs> There's plenty of houses out there. All you gotta do is buy one. Jeez, it's really simple. Dear Nancy, um, I can't afford rent. And gas is so high that I'm losing money every time I go to work. I can't afford to blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Jeez. Enough with your complaining, all right? <laughs> it's not my fault you peasants can't afford gas. It's not my fault you can't afford rent. <laughs> Look at me. I'm not complaining, and I'm doing just fine. <laughs> Listen up, because I'm going to give all you peasants out there some great advice. Absolutely free. <laughs> it's all Putin's fault. Attention, America. I'm sure that many of you have heard the news. And yes, the rumors are true. I've got it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. After four of them, I got it anyways. I know a lot of you out there are like, wow, how could this be? Probably scratching your head asking yourself, how is this even possible? I know that most of you are probably worried about me. But please, don't worry about me, okay? I'm gonna be just fine. This is a good thing. Me getting it proves that it's working. It's working. We're making progress, people. This is a sign of good things to come. We're not out of the woods yet. We've almost got this beat, so we gotta move fast if we wanna make it go away. First off, everyone lock it down. Close down your businesses, don't go to work, shut down the schools, stay six feet apart, and for the last time, wear a mask. You'll also be required to wear a fan hat like I'm wearing right now. If you don't have a fan hat, then you can buy one for only 10 payments of just $19.95, plus shipping and handling. I've got a good feeling about this. I really do. It's gonna work. 
should only take about seven days. All right, people, let's lock it down. Wait for further instructions. Dad? Yeah? I need money. Uh, you, you, you need money? Did I stutter? I said I need money. Now give it to me. Well, well how come you don't have any money? I do have money, but I want to spend your money. Oh, <laughs> all right, well, that makes sense. And while you're at it, Give me a job, too. But but I thought you had a job. Uh, I mean, you're the best painter in the world, son. Oh, I just do that to launder money. Oh, <laughs> all right. Say I'm the smartest person you know. Uh, you're the smartest person I know. Now shut up and get me a job. All right, I I'll get you a job. And it better be a good job, too. All right. I want a job that I'm not qualified for, and it better have good pay. All right, sounds good. Yeah, that's right. You do what I tell you to do. Hey, the, uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the attorney general, he, he, was, he was asking about your laptop. What did you tell him? Uh... What do you want me to say? Tell him there's no laptop. T tell him there's no laptop? Yeah, tell him there's no laptop. All right, there's no laptop. What laptop? <laughs> now take me to the store. I'm out of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> but I just bought you some yesterday. I wasn't asking you. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I I'll take you right now. Give me some more money while you're at it. All right. Nothing bad going on over here. Darn it. I've got nothing. Well, guess I'll just go back to investigating Donald Trump. True social customer service. How can I help you? Hello? Hello? Hi. 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 Can I help you? Yeah, um, I like totally signed up for like a true social account or like whatever. Well, congratulations. Welcome to free speech. Yeah, that's like totally what I'm calling you about. Okay, what seems to be the problem? Where are like the fact checkers at? Uh, we don't have any. And why is everyone allowed to like say whatever they want to say or like whatever? Because that's what free speech is? Um, no it's not, okay? Are you familiar with the Constitution? Are you serious? <laughs> I have to ask. I'm a bartender, so asking me, like, what the Constitution is is, like, totally offensive and racist. What are you gonna ask me next, if I know what a garbage disposal is? So, is, is there something I can do to help you, or... Can you, like, delete all the Trump supporters? No, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, well, if you don't, like, totally delete everyone who disagrees with me, then I'm just gonna delete my account. Well... You gotta do what you gotta do. Everyone on True Social can, like, totally give their opinion, like, whatever, and I'm just, like, not okay with that. And why does Trump have an account? Because he owns True Social. Oh my gosh, that is, like, so racist. Do you even know what he's done? Yeah, he saved America. That is fake news. I'm reporting your comment right now. Okay. It's like all you care about is truth. Nobody cares about the truth. Well, sure they do. You are so brainwashed. I deleted my account going back to Twitter. I can't stand listening to stupidity. So you don't talk to yourself. Huh? Hey, before you go, can, can you answer me one question? What? Will we ever be able to land on the sun? Of course we can land on the sun. What a stupid question. All you have to do is do it at night. Duh. <laughs> hey, thanks for calling True Social. Have a great day. Whatever, racist. You know, it seems like just yesterday, when gas prices were low, the economy was booming, and America always came first. It was a simpler time. No teleprompters, no clown show, just some good old-fashioned American love. <laughs> Nowadays, things are a little different. Gas is almost eight bucks a gallon, Inflation is the highest it's ever been. Grocery store shelves are empty. The border is wide open. And Joe Biden just gave another billion dollars to Ukraine. But hey, no more mean tweets, right? Wow! Would you look at that? Seems like just yesterday, gas was only two bucks a gallon. <laughs> I put an end to that. I mean, why would anyone want to pay two bucks a gallon when they could pay eight bucks a gallon? <laughs> it's pretty, ain't it? I did that. I made that happen. And I ain't done yet. Hey, what? What are you doing? I'm putting training wheels on your bike, Joe. I don't need training wheels. Training wheels are for babies. Help! I've fallen and I can't get up. Joe, what happened? Uh, cra cra crazy stuff, man. Cra crazy stuff. But it, it, it was all the bike's fault. The bike's fault? Yeah, it, it was an assault bike. An assault bike? Yeah, I, I was at a complete stop on the on, on the assault bike, right? And, and then all of a sudden, the, the, the bike reached out and grabbed my leg and it tripped me. The bike tripped you? Yeah, and, and to think. This could have all been avoided if I was just wearing a mask. All right, I'm just gonna let you go. No, 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 don't let me go. I, I can't do this by myself. No, you can't. And so does everyone else. You know, uh, 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 since I took office, uh, 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 assault bikes and assault stairs have gone down 80%. Right there is a big pile of my accomplishments. You think with a pile that big, my approval rating will be a lot higher. But, but, but it's not my fault. It, it's America's fault. No, Joe, it's your fault. What? You caused all of this. No, I didn't. This ain't my fault. Sure it is. My approval rating is going right down the toilet. It's the worst it's ever been. Oh, how can a guy with 81 million votes have such a low number? Oh, it just don't make any sense. I've done so much for America. And, and this is how they repay me? All right. Let's start off with the first pre-approved question of the day. Joe, is America okay? Well, sure it is. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Let me uh, check my notes here. Um, 
You know, uh, 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 since I took office, no, uh, n nobody's in debt no more. Everybody has a savings account and everyone is financially comfortable. All right, people, here's the deal. I, I, I know my son and gas prices are extremely high right now and they're going to continue to get higher. But it's not my fault. Sure it is. No, uh Since I took office, everybody's happy and rich. Yo, you can't walk upstairs, ride a bike, or even talk without a teleprompter. You really think you're actually doing anything for America? If you want, if you want to blame somebody, blame Trump. All right, because Trump's caused all this. You know, the, the same guy that beats up his employees and carjacks secret service agents has made your gasoline so expensive it's left you no other choice but to go out and buy an electric car. Are you being serious right now? Well, yeah, I'm serious. I'm, I'm, I'm 81 million percent serious. How do you think America is okay? Well, uh, <laughs> the average gas price right now is six bucks a gallon. And, uh, in some states, it's eight. Okay. I'm just saying, <laughs> if people can afford to pay that much for gas, then everything's just fine. Joe, why should Americans turn in their guns? Uh, all right, people, here's the deal. Um, stocks are crashing. Gas prices are at an all-time high. Grocery store shelves are empty. Crime is everywhere, and, um, the border is wide open. Now is the perfect time to turn in your guns. But what about their safety? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I got gas prices up. Joe, high gas prices isn't a good thing. It's not? No, it's not. But, but what about my gas holiday? Your gas holiday? Yeah, I'm gonna save everybody 18 cents a gallon. <laughs> and you think that's good? Well, inflation is high. That's good. Joe, people are broke. But I raised the minimum wage. And then you raised inflation. Yeah, so? <laughs> it all evens out. Joe, high inflation isn't good. Well, I, I, I left the border open. <laughs> That's not good either, Joe. You gave $30 billion to the Ukraine. It's in the past. Get over it. You gave our weapons to Afghanistan. Uh, you can't prove that. The borders are open, Joe. I'm just letting some fresh air in. Has this ever happened to you? Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Look, uh, I I'm not going to beat around the bush here, all right? Since I took office, I've used an entire bag of Trump's fault. And it's about time that I open up a new bag. But instead of using the same old bag of Trump's fault, I'm opening up a big, fresh bag of Putin's fault. But 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 I gave $41 billion to Ukraine. And how much did you give to America? Um, <laughs> help, I was riding a bicycle, but then I fell down. Have you fallen and have no idea where you are? Help, I've fallen and I don't know where I am. Well, you're in luck. What? Introducing, help, I've fallen down and I can't get up and I don't know where I am, from Joe Biden. What's that? And, and, and who the hell am I? Help, I've fallen down and I can't get up and I don't know where I am is the latest, greatest gadget to help rescue people who think they're fit to do things but aren't really fit to do anything at all. Wow, that sounds like me. Exactly. But but 81 million people voted for me. Is that what you think? Well, that, that's what they told me. <laughs> all right, Joe, I'm letting go. No! Obama, teleprompter, help! Just press the button and we'll pretend nothing happened. Wait a minute, what's my name? Did I fall down? I don't know. Did you? I have no idea. Uh, did I? We won't tell if you don't. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up and I don't know where I am. From Joe Biden. 81 million satisfied customers. Wait, what? Joe, why do you need more money? Well, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, because we're, uh, we're, we're, we're planning another one. And, and, and we need more money so we can get everyone to get the new one. Yeah, it's gonna take lots of money, so. Yeah, I mean, cause, cause it's coming. Oh, <laughs> it's coming, all right. <laughs> uh, it's just a question of when. Oh, I know when it's coming. <laughs> and, 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 and this one's even gonna be better than, than, uh, than, than the last one. Yeah, this one is gonna be really good. I mean, if you thought the last one was good, you ain't seen nothing that, yet. That's actually the slogan for the new one. Yep. <laughs> if you thought the last one was good, you, you ain't, ain't seen, seen nothing, nothing yet. yet. <laughs> And, and that's why we need more money. And, and we want everyone to get the new one, too, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, we want adults to get right. it. Kids, cats, dogs, hamsters, monkeys, even trees. Yeah, because, I mean, we've been planning this for years, and we just want it to be special. What should people expect? Uh, same thing as last time. Um, uh, lack of freedom, higher inflation, higher gas prices, unemployment, lockdowns. And a few other surprises. How long is this going to take? <laughs> uh, it shouldn't take that long. I mean, hell, last time we were able to get everything done overnight. <laughs> Seems just like yesterday. <laughs> Hey, Joe, when is this going to start? Uh, most likely it'll, uh, yeah, most likely it'll probably start on a Tuesday after the first Monday in November. Yep. Joe, should <laughs> people still get the thing? Oh, of course they should. I mean, get it as many times as you can. I I've gotten it four times already. Me too. I mean, it totally works. Uh, yeah. Is there going to be a new thing? Yep. Uh, <laughs> that's why we're going to need more money. Enjoy the show. Wow. Hunter's laptop and Ashley's diary. This is awesome. Um, is there anything on Hunter's laptop? Oh, damn. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Just a bunch of naked pictures of my son. What's written in Ashley's diary? Oh, man.
You didn't like our secret shower time? You showered with your daughter? Yeah, I showered with her. What's wrong with that? Just get the laptop in the diary. How am I gonna do that? I, I don't see a teleprompter anywhere. Just replace the laptop in the diary with the bag of Trump's fault I gave you. So, uh, you're, you're sure this bag of Trump's fault is gonna work? Of course it'll work. A bag of Trump's fault always works. Oh, man. I'm so nervous right now. Just relax, Joe. You can do this. Come on, man. I don't know if I can do this. Let's go, Brandon. All right, Joe. You can do this. Let's go, Brandon. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Way to go, Brandon. I knew you could do it. Wait a minute. Where the hell am I? Captain's log. Um, hey, can somebody come and flush this? Captain, the Americans are getting upset. I love it when they're mad. Yeah, I do too, but... What am I supposed to do? Good question. <laughs> yeah. What if we, like, totally got rid of all the cows? <laughs> Be quiet, Alexandria. I mean, I, I don't post mean tweets. I, I don't lie. <laughs> I don't whine. I, I don't insult nobody. I, I don't blame anybody. And, and I don't complain about anything. That's true, but they're still mad. <laughs> I love when they're mad. But but why are they mad? They're mad about gas prices, Joe. Well, how do I make them not mad? Uh, you can blame gas companies. That's brilliant. Good idea. Yeah, but what about the gas prices? Blame Putin. You think that'll work? Who cares? Any other ideas? Uh, we can suspend the gas tax for 90 days. Can we do that? Of course we can. <laughs> can we take their guns too? Of course we can. We can do whatever we want. I, I just don't understand why everybody's so mad at me. I mean, I got 81 million votes. Well, because they didn't have to deal with this when Trump was in charge. They didn't? No, Joe. They didn't. Well, what did he do that was so special? Well, there was peace in the Middle East, cheaper everything, low crime, energy security, and a secure border. And he loved the Constitution. Stop it. You're gonna make me puke. He loved the Constitution. Yep, it's pretty embarrassing. I mean, I got a war in Ukraine. We're almost in a recession. There's rising crime, energy insecurity, and a border crisis. Oh, that gave me goosebumps. Oh my gosh, look at all those cows down there. Settle down, Alexandria. Well, what do we do now? Don't you worry, Joe. I'm gonna take care of all of it. All right, Adam, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Um, do I have to tell the truth? It's a lie detector test, Adam. So it's just like we rehearsed, Adam. What? Nothing. <laughs> Did the police open doors at the Capitol to allow protesters in? Um... You don't have to answer that, Adam. Yes, he does. Um... Pass. Whoo! That was close! Does the 14,000 hours of video footage you refused to release show just how guilty you Democrats actually are? Um... What video footage? Bingo! Was the Capitol left unprotected? Um... Can I phone a friend? Good answer, Adam. <laughs> You're doing great, Adam! Adam, did Pelosi have secret conversations with the FBI? I am sick! Um, sustained. Did you lie about Russian collusion? Um, I, I plead the fifth. Yes, my boy! Did you lie about the whistleblower? I, I plead the fifth. This guy is good! You're doing it, Adam! Did you lie about the transcript? Um, come on, Adam. Reach deep down into your bag of lies. You got this. You got this, Adam! I believe in you! Um, I, I plead the fifth. Yes! You did it, Adam! I have one more question. Did Nancy Pelosi plan January 6th? Um, I, I plead the fifth. You did it, Adam! I'm so proud of you, Adam. My lies are all true. All right, everybody. Uh, uh Enough with the Build Back Better malarkey, all right? <laughs> Today I came up with a new slogan. What's your new slogan? Make America Great Again. Isn't that Trump's slogan? No, I, I came up with it first. Uh, since nobody was wearing my Build Back Better hats, um, I, I, I decided to sell my new hats with my new logo on it that I came up with all by myself. Aren't those Trump's hats? Uh, no, th these are my hats. <laughs> and I've already seen millions of my fans wearing them. All right, uh, listen up. Um, I came up with Make America Great Again because we got to put America, what did I say? First. First. Okay, well, what's going on with Ukraine? Well, look, here's the deal. Um, I I'm trying to get my son out of trouble, and, and, and there's only one Joe, way look to at the teleprompter! Uh, we gotta make America great. great again. But we can't just make America great. We gotta keep America great. Hey, I, I just came up with a new slogan. Let's go make some more hats. Keep America great, everybody. <laughs> I, I came up with that. You, you heard it here first. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is going to be you. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe they did this. This is truly the darkest day in American history. I can't breathe. The Supreme Court denied all changes 
control over their own body. So now my uncle has to have a baby? Oh, my nephew is going to be pissed. How could they do this? You know, men and women, they have rights. Okay? Babies don't even, like, have rights. Babies can't even talk, okay? The right to choose has, like, totally been taken away. I mean, what's next? Gonna take away our right to vote? Huh? Babies can't even vote! Babies can't do anything, all right? I mean, babies, like, don't even, like, know what a garbage disposal is. I know, I know. I mean, so, like, what's next? Men and women have to be responsible and use birth control? I don't want to use birth control, <laughs> yuck! You know what? Maybe I like getting abortions. Yeah, my body, my choice. Well, you know what? I guess it's time to peacefully protest. Yep, we're, uh... Gonna peacefully let everybody know that we're upset. <laughs> we're gonna flood every street in America with our tears. Hey, this is what happens when Democrats don't get their way, all right? Can't stop crying. And this is all Trump's fault. You hear me? <laughs> Come on, Joe. It's time to go. Uh, I, I don't want to go. What's wrong, Joe? Uh, I, I had an accident. Uh, you had an accident? Yeah, I, uh, peed in my pants. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, don't worry about it, buddy. These things happen. So what am I gonna do? I'll take care of it. Hey, thanks, La Bamba. Come on, Joe. Look, everybody. Obama peed his pants. <laughs> <laughs> of course I peed my pants. All Democrats pee their pants. It's the coolest. Really? Yeah. You ain't a Democrat unless you pee your pants. Hey, look. Joe peed his pants, too. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Good job, Joe. Hey, thanks, man. If peeing your pants is cool, consider me Chuck Norris. <laughs> if you don't pee your pants... You're a racist! Hey, La Bamba! What's up, Joe? I just pooped my pants! Uh-oh. Uh, can you help me out? Hey, look, everybody! Uh, Jerry Nadler pooped his pants! Truth Social Customer Service! How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I need some, um... I need some help. <laughs> well, you called the right place. What seems to be the problem? Well, um... My, my, uh, Truth Social account... I, um, I, I'm sorry, did you just say two snorkel amount? What? What? I'm sorry, I'm just having a hard time understanding oh, you. sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um... It's so sensitive. <laughs> yeah. It gets so moist and, um... Ah. Okay. Is, is that better? Yeah. So, what seems to be the problem? So, um... I, I've been posting videos, um... Of my speeches and, okay. um... For some reason, um... No, nobody's liking them. Nobody's liking your yeah, videos? They're not watching them either. Well, that's yeah, strange. It it's really strange. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it's like... I'm kind of a big deal, you know? Huh. So, you would think that... People would want to hear what I have to say. Sure. <laughs> Maybe it's like a technical difficulty or something? Um, sure. Uh, what's your username? Um, it, it's, uh, hashtag I love Donald. Okay, give me a few seconds to pull up your account. All right, well, um, while you're doing that, I think I'll take a little drink. <laughs> um, um, what? You're Nancy Pelosi? The one and only. <laughs> uh, well, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with your account at all. There's not? Nope, not a thing. So, how come nobody's watching my videos? <laughs> um, maybe they're just choosing not to watch? That's ridiculous. It's like, I'm, I'm the house trigger. I mean, yeah? uh, excuse me, if these peasants want the truth, then they need to listen to what I have to say. <laughs> well, this is true social. So? Well, it's not Twitter or the mainstream media. Our members are here to see the truth, and they can watch whatever they want. <laughs> so That's racist! Well, I, I don't know how that's racist. The truth is what I say it is! Uh, I'm sorry, that's not how that's it works. That's bullshit! Are, are you threatening me? Uh, no. Help! Help! Police! Uh... I, I'm calling the police right now. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm gonna delete my account! All right, well, thanks for calling True Social. This um, isn't over. You haven't heard the last of me! Oh, man, that's some good ice cream. Uh, oh, so oh, good. I like sniffing it, and then I grab onto it, and then I start oh, licking it. Oh, 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 You're talking oh, oh, about your ice oh, cream, oh, right? Ugh! Oh, oh. This is the ugliest hat I ever saw! This hat should come with a long prison sentence. Oh, it looks good on you, though. Ha! Ah, well, thank you very much. Hey, you stand up straight when you're talking to me. But, but, but nothing. You shut your mouth when you ask me a question. Do you understand? Oh, man, it's Trump, the great ultra mega king. Hey, go get my autograph book. Joe, I'm very disappointed with you. Oh, man, he knows my name. This is the worst inflation I've seen in my life. No, no, no. It's the worst inflation you've seen so far. Uh, good one. Yeah, I, I, I still got three years left. Uh, actually, I got three years left. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> this is serious. People are dying. But abortion is a baby dying. Don't you dare have an opinion. The only opinion that matters is mine. And everyone else who agrees with me. Do you really think that you and Obama are going to finish a four-year term? 
Well, of course, I I'm doing a good job. Uh, actually, I'm doing a good job, but... Oh, yeah? What have you done? Uh, That's a good question. What have you built? Nothing. Nothing. What's back? Nothing. Nothing. What's better? Uh, uh, exactly. Pack your shit, Joe. Dear Lancy, my name is Bill. My wife got me pregnant last night without my permission. What am I gonna do now? Hello, and welcome back to the poop. Today on the show, we're going to be talking about the criminal, Juan DeSantis. <laughs> Ron DeSantis. <gasps> that monster belongs in prison. <gasps> he a racist. Uh-huh. I'm so sorry, Bill. My heart breaks for you, but because of Trump and those racist judges, unfortunately, you have to give birth to that baby. Does that make you happy, Brett Kavanaugh? You pervert! We've got a problem. What's wrong? Looks like the Supreme Court is going to overturn Roe versus Wade. <laughs> so now we can't swim anymore? Oh my gosh. Can we stop inviting her to these meetings? Lord Nancy, what are we going to do? Yeah, what are we going to do? I don't know. <sighs> Here's another heartbreaking letter from Trudy. Dear Nancy... My name is Trudy. I cheated on my husband again and got pregnant for the sixth time in three months. What am I going to do? My husband's white. He's going to find out. You'd have to be made of steel not to be heartbroken by that. This poor, responsible woman's marriage is now at risk because of racist judges who took away a man and a woman's right to choose. Order in the court. Your Honor, Nancy Pelosi is innocent. And it's all Trump's fault. It's all, all Trump's, Trump's fault. fault. <laughs> I agree. And this poor fella writes, You enter the Roosevelt room and say hello to your participants. You take your seat and, um, oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I must have gotten uh, Joe Biden's two cars by mistake. Nancy, <laughs> what about your husband's DUI? What did you just say? I said... It doesn't you... matter what you said! Nancy, I would like to present to you the Money Launderer of the Year Award. Wow! This is such an honor! Thank you! You earned it! So many people I want to thank! I mean, the American taxpayers, without you peasants, none of this would be possible! You have a gift for laundering money, Nancy! Oh, you're gonna make me cry! They're taking away all of our power! If you don't want them to turn off your power, then, like, totally pay your electricity bill! It's called responsibility. Duh! Can somebody shut her up?! Shut up or I'm gonna slap your ass through the sheetrock! Whatever! You guys probably don't even know what a garbage disposal is. Shut up! <laughs> That's better. <laughs> All right, guys. We need a distraction. What about my body, my choice? No. <laughs> Dr. Fauci put an end to that. My husband is innocent! He was set up from the work show! His false accusations are not important right now! He was charged with a DUI! Whatever happened to innocent before proven guilty, huh? I mean, men and women's rights to choose have been sucked away like a vacuum. So, did you find any dirt on Trump? I tried. Uh, you tried? Yeah. I really tried, but... But what? Well, everything I found led back to you and Hillary. I was afraid of that. Overruled! Your Honor, can I approach the bench? No, you can't! Can I ask the witness a question? I plead the fair sit down, Durham! But, Your Honor, one more word out of you and I'll hold you in contempt! Your Honor, we'd like to drop all charges! What? Has the jury reached its decision? Not guilty! Of everything! Objection! Overruled! Case dismissed! These are responsible heroes we're talking about. It's not like they're a dangerous racist group of concerned parents at a PCA meeting. No. These are heroes. We just don't want to be pregnant. Screw you, Clarence Thomas! No more questions! You know, I, I know I'm doing a good job. I just... <laughs> I just feel like everybody's laughing at me. <laughs> uh, go on. Like, like, no matter what I do, I, I, I just keep hearing people laughing at me. Well, it sounds like it's all in your head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe it is. <laughs> hey, uh, are, are, are you a salesman? Uh, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, I'm a salesman. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, uh, you want in? Uh, maybe, uh, what do you sell? Uh, y you ever heard of, uh, 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 $2 a gallon? Uh, sure, $2 uh, for a gallon of gasoline. Yeah, well, uh... <laughs> It's gonna blow that right out of the water. Listen to this. Five dollars a gallon. <laughs> uh, sounds yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. I just <laughs> feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Tell me more. Well, like the other day, I, I zipped up before I was even done. Ah! Well, uh, what if somebody comes up with six dollars a gallon? No, 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 it's, it, it's five. Oh, 
okay. Not six, it's five. All, all right. Five's a magic number. Okay. <laughs> five corn pops diving on the board, rubbing on my leg hair, teleprompter's yours. You know that thing on Hunter's laptop? Uh, yeah. Step into my office. Uh, how come? Because I'm f***ing fired. Hello, peasants. <laughs> As many of you know, women don't have rights anymore. What's a woman? And it's up to you to get women their rights back. What's a woman? You know, the most important thing that any of you can do today is to help get women their rights back. I still don't know what a woman the is. The only way that's going to happen is for you peasants out there to send me money. I don't have any money. <laughs> I, I send myself money, but unfortunately I'm down to my last hundred and thirty million dollars. I don't even have lint in my pocket. I'm struggling. Okay? I know a lot of you out there don't even know what it's like to struggle, but I do. I haven't eaten for four days! But we're not here to talk about my struggle. We're here to talk about getting women's rights back. What's a woman? And the only way that's gonna happen is if you send me money! I don't have any money! I, I send myself money, but like I said, I'm barely scraping by with the hundred and thirty million dollars that I have left. I've been dehydrated for four days! But I don't need my money. No. I need your money. I can't even afford a gallon of gas! Yeah, I know, gas prices are high, food is expensive, and you probably don't even have a job right now. I'm unemployed and homeless! But if you want to make a difference, if you want to get women their rights back, then do the right thing. Send me your money today. What's a woman? Good night, peasant! True social customer service. How can I help you? Hello? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Sorry, my fans are outside cheering for me. That didn't sound like cheering, but how can I help you? I'm having trouble setting up my account. Okay, what seems to be the problem? Well, me and my brosman want to set up an account together. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, did, did you say brosband? Yes, my brother, husband. You married your brother? Yes, we're very happy, thank you. O okay, so you want to set up an account for yourself and an account for your... Brusband? No, I want to set up a joint true social account. My brother cheated on me, and I don't trust him. Uh, <laughs> sorry about your brother cheating on you. It's okay. Some people did something. Yeah, um, anyways, uh, true social accounts are for one person and one person only, so... Well, that's just not fair. I'm sorry you feel that way, but those are the rules. That's racist! <laughs> I'm sorry. How How is that racist? I would never be treated like this in Somalia. Uh, That's it. I'm deleting my brosman's account and mine. Okay, well, I'm uh, sorry. I'm calling the police right now. All right, well, good luck. And um, <laughs> I uh, hope everything works out with you and your Hello? brosman. Where are the Thanks police? for calling True Social. Where are Have the a police? great day. True Social customer service. How can I help you? Yeah, I need some help with my account. Well, you called the right place. What's your username? Chicago's a shithole. All right, give me one second to pull up your account. All right, well, while you do that, I'm going to sweep up all the bullet shells. What was that? Oh, that's just Chicago being Chicago. All right, so, uh, I got your account pulled up and... Whoa! What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I just kind of feel like I screamed out Beetlejuice three times. So, can you help me with my account? Sure, just let me put this bag over my head while I take a look at your account. All right. All right, so what do you need help with? Well, I'm trying to keep Chicago a shithole. But nobody's liking my posts or my videos, so... Um, well, maybe people don't want Chicago to be a shithole. You ever thought of that? No, my job is to keep Chicago a shithole, and we had a really good oh, yeah? week. What were your numbers for 4th of July? Over 71. That brings my overall number up to 2,100 plus since I became mayor. Okay, and what exactly are you trying to do on True Social? Well, Chicago and True Social need more toxicity. Fuck Clarence Thomas! That's what I want to bring to True Social. So. And how's that been working out for you so far? Well, that's the problem. Nobody's liking my posts or my videos. So. <laughs> well, don't give up. I won't. Sound like you really don't give a shit about anything. Yeah, I, re I really don't. All right. Well, thanks for calling True Social customer service. Have a great day. Keep Chicago a shithole.